Hey, it's Paul with MakeUseOf.com and we're at XGMI's event at New York City. We're gonna learn more about their MoGo Pro 2. The MoGo 2 Pro is a portable projector that packs a punch with its advanced features, impressive image quality, and compact design. With all of its features and supporting a large screen up to 100 inches, the XGMI MoGo Pro 2 is a versatile and powerful projector that's perfect for home theaters, outdoor movie nights, or just about any other situation where you'd want to enjoy a big screen viewing experience without the cost of a permanent installation. It features Full HD, 400 lumens, and 10,001 contrast ratio. You'll also find Android TV built in, which enables you to stream your favorite content directly from the device without the need for an external streaming stick or casting. So with fierce competition, what sets the MoGo 2 Pro apart from other projectors on the market? It comes down to its powerful performance and versatility. And on its front, you'll find its 3D sensor, which automatically focuses and adjusts keystone correction. And as we'll see in this quick side-by-side -side demo of the MoGo 2 Pro to one of its competitors, it's much easier to set up. MoGo 2 Pro, this is featuring, um, we call it ISA 2.0. This will automatically do the keystone correction without uh, disrupting your image and the sound. But if you do in that one, yeah, so first of all, is pop up this feature paper, we, we said, yeah, then you need to, uh, yes, so basically this disrupts your uh, videos. This uh, C3 is 799, and this is 599. And then just looking at the two pictures side by side right now, you might be able to tell that this looks a little bit brighter and maybe just has a little bit more contrast and definitely a lot more vibrancy. Now, of course, side by side, it's brightness, contrast, and vibrancy is not gonna compare to even the cheapest 4K TVs that you can buy today. But the thing that they wanna demonstrate here is that we can have the same size, if not a larger viewing experience with our projector, but we don't have to have the same footprint in comparison to a traditional TV. So when a TV is off, you know, you have this huge big black screen that doesn't usually look the best against a nice white wall. Whereas with the projector, we turn it off and the wall returns to its regular form. And if we want, we can even put the projector completely out of the way as if it was never here. On the other hand, obviously we're limited and where we can place the TV, not only is it big, but usually you have to wall mount it. And I don't even know if they were intending to show this off, but if we don't have an outlet nearby, it might limit where we can practically put the TV if we don't want to run a ton of extension cables. And unlike a TV though, if an outlet isn't available nearby, you can actually run it off of a 65 watt power bank. But if you're looking for something a little bit bigger, check out this next setup. And before we even get to the projector, to my point earlier, look at this long extension cable here. And even though this is probably a good 85 inches, so this is probably 110 inches. It's basically taking up the entire width. So bringing it back just a couple inches, you can see I'm fitting it against the entire width of our wall. Compared to its previous model, it lacks a built-in battery, but it still retains its compact size and the ability to now be powered over a 65 watt USB-C power supply or even a power bank. And in many ways, this makes the MoGo Pro 2 a little bit more portable than the previous version as you're no longer limited by its battery life. One of the other really cool things about having an all-in-one compact projector like this is you can basically use it in any room. And one of the things that they're demonstrating here is you can use it in a bathroom. How practical that is? Well, that depends on, I guess, how long you're spending in the bathroom, but it's definitely possible. And even though we don't have the largest wall or an actual stand to place this on, just putting it on our counter and positioning it, it can auto adjust its picture size to give us that correct angle. And with enough volume here, you can still get a really good experience in this rather awkward room. With its brushed aluminum finish, the MoGo 2 Pro looks very premium. 
On its back, you'll find vents which do help it keep cool, though it's not as quiet as I'd like as the fans are quick to kick in and they're definitely audible. On its bottom, you'll find a tripod screw. This allows for a more permanent mounting solution, or if you want, you can use a small little 3-inch tripod like I do with an adjustable head, and that makes it a lot easier to dial in your angle. That said, if you have a table or a shelf at the right height, you can always just place it on there and it's more than stable. And then if you have a spare bedroom that maybe you don't want more of a permanent TV setup or you just want to bring in the projector every now and then, whether it's the kids room or like I said, the spare room, we've got a little gaming setup here in this kids room. And one of the things that they said would be kind of like a cool idea is like, you know what? it's past their bedtime or they didn't get their homework done, you can just easily take this away. And for this setup, we've actually got it mounted on top of, I guess it would be like a side table. I'm not entirely sure what you would really call this, but you get the height that you need pretty easily with just regular pieces of furniture lying around the house. And we've got the PS5 hooked up here. You can probably hear the sound pretty loud, a lot of bass. For connectivity, you'll find a USB-C port, a USB Type-A port, and an HDMI 2.0 port. And for audio out, it supports AUX 3.5 millimeter. For wireless connectivity, it supports Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 5 dual band. A drawback though is the lack of onboard controls on the device itself. Aside from a power button, it's a bit disappointing here. It would have been nice to have controls to adjust the volume or pause playback without needing to reach for the remote. The Bluetooth remote that does come included is good, but it would have been nice to have those controls on the device itself. Another really cool thing about this ISA 2.0 system is that it includes object avoidance and automatic screen detection. Say for example, you accidentally bump up against it or you just needed a little extra counter space. You don't wanna to have to go through the entire calibration process to resize your picture. This'll basically just do it on its own. It'll tell you, okay, it did it on its own. If you need to go into the fine tuning, you have the option there too. Whereas this on the other hand is gonna completely pause. It's gonna change what's actually showing up there to show the calibration screen and it's just not as seamless. Compared to its predecessor, the MoGo 2 Pro is brighter and sharper. So first off, they increased the brightness to 400 lumens compared to 300 on the original MoGo Pro. With 400 lumens of brightness, the projector performs well in shaded rooms, but the colors can still appear to be washed out in brightly lit environments. The MoGo 2 Pro uses XPR technology. This shifts its native resolution of 1280 x 720 to display a 1080p image by shifting the chip four times per frame. This will limit the projector to running at just 60 hertz, but it gives you a much sharper image as a result. The downside, of course, is that 60 hertz is gonna be less ideal for fast-paced games or watching sports, and so you should keep that in mind. For picture customization, it comes with four presets. We found that movie mode has the best vibrancy. The projector also supports HDR10, which gives you better dynamic range and a more natural picture. We found that turning off HDR can make the picture look a little bit brighter, but it will also wash out the color and introduce more noise. Aside from this, you don't really have much customization over your picture. You can just adjust contrast, brightness, and sharpness, or toggle HDR to on or off. For most users, we think movie mode with HDR on is going to give you the best picture. Let's discuss that Android TV 11 that it's running. You'll get access to the Google Play Store where you can download all your favorite apps, including Hulu, Disney Plus, and Amazon Prime. Beyond this, it has Chromecast built in, so you can stream from your tablet, your phone, or laptop. And for supported devices, you can even mirror their screen. You can also pair this with Google Assistant and then control it with your voice. You can speak directly into the Bluetooth remote and ask it to play a movie, answer a question, and even control compatible smart devices in your home. But currently, there are a few limitations. As of right now, Netflix is not natively supported on this device. That said, Xgamey includes a pamphlet which shows you how to sideload Netflix using the desktop launcher app. But this sideloaded version of Netflix does have a few drawbacks, one of which being that the highest quality you can stream is just 1080p. Compared to its predecessor, the MoGo 2 Pro offers several improvements that users will appreciate. 
So thanks again for checking out this review. This has been Paul with MakeUseOf.com. Let us know your thoughts on the Moco 2 Pro. If you have any questions, you can let us know in the comments down below as well. Until the next one, catch you later.